Hey everyone, Gran Turismo 7 just updated again and we've been gifted with three more menu books to complete, starting off with the lightweight K-Cup car series. So opening up the book, we have three races to complete. They all last about five to 10 minutes each and the events have a 400 PP limit. And the cars being used in this event are the K cars, which were also used in the one hour of Autopus race and human comedy series. And before we go further into the video, I just want to thank NZ Gaming for the support that they've been giving me over the last few weeks. They've supplied me with some equipment to review and cover, which I've made some videos about over the last couple of weeks as well, if you want to go take a look at those. If you're from New Zealand and you want to pick up some new sim racing gear or gaming equipment, then go to the website I linked in the description. All the sim racing gear that I'm going to be using in this video, you can find on NZ Gaming, so be sure to check them out. Before we get into the setup, we're just going to look at the upgrades for the car. Firstly, we're going to put the wide body kit on the car. Then after that, you can come and put some wider wheels on the car. I believe that helps improve the performance of the car a little bit. Not too sure about that, but just go ahead and do it anyway. Next, you're going to want to come and upgrade your front bumper and your rear wing to give yourself adjustable front downforce and rear downforce. So I've just taken a front splitter there, also upgraded the side. I don't think that has any noticeable performance impact and then put a rear wing on it as well. Over to this area now, we want to take the first stage of weight reduction. I think by default you have the Comfort Soft tires, so you want to have those. Club Sports, we're going to take these first two options here, come down towards the bottom, take the second stage of weight reduction, plus the power restrictor and the ballast. In Semi Racing, we're going to take these two options at the top as well, while also taking the mid or medium RPM turbocharger and also the fully customizable LSD. And the third stage of weight reduction into the racing section, the three engine components at the top. I didn't actually use anti-lag in my setup, but you can give that a go if you want to. And then these three below as well, plus the racing, racing exhaust manifold. I did not actually use any brake upgrades in the setup of this car for this um, series, so don't bother with those. Same with the racing clutch and flywheel. I didn't use that in the setup, but I did use the fully customizable suspension, and I did not use the fully customizable racing transmission in the setup and then I didn't use anything in the extreme section. Okay, so the car we're going with for this race is the Honda S660, the main reason being that you can pick this up at any time through the Brand Central. Most of the other K cars you can only get through the used car dealership and they are sometimes not even there, so this car will always be there in the Brand Central and this is the setup that we're gonna be running for the races and you can see all the things I've got equipped there. So this is a restricted event to 400 pp. If your rating is slightly above 400 by a few points if you copy my setup, then make sure to check the link that I've popped in the, the pinned comment and the description. Check that out just to bump your pp number below the limit. And if you guys had your own setups for this car, then feel free to drop those in the comment section. And so there's three races. We're starting off at one of the shorter Willow Springs layouts. And just to start with, we're gonna put the traction control on number one so we have that security on throttle that we're not gonna be spinning just for a bit of safety, you can drive with that if you want to. And now it's just about learning the track as quickly as you can. So hopefully, once I get myself into a little bit of more clean air, I can give you a few pointers. Okay, so we're just gonna quickly run through a wee bit of a clean lap guide here. So we've got nobody in front of us now, it's actually the final lap, but we're coming up to the first turn and there's a bit of a right kink and we're gonna make through it here flat. And then as we get past the 100 meter or the 100 board on the left, we get begin to brake bring it down to second gear. You could actually break a little later than I did there. About halfway between the 50 and the 100 should be fine. Then you're gonna come down here. There's no real strong braking reference here, but you just wanna make sure you don't break too late, obviously. Slow down the car, it doesn't have infinite grip. You're gonna pull the car around the apex there and then up the hill. We're gonna break as those cones on the left start or just after it. Second gear, bring it to the apex. Yeah, basically where those cones started on the left and again, hugging the inside line. We might drift out a bit, might have to lift off the throttle. Like an inside line, then coming back to the middle of the track to take this next turn flat. And then as it straightens up, in the halfway of this mini straight here, we're gonna start braking down to second gear. Make sure you get to the apex there because it is quite tight. You don't wanna go flying off the edge there if you carry too much speed in. And then we are flat out for this little straight up ahead. And we're gonna be aware because there's a bit of a blind uh, section just up ahead here. So we're gonna make our way towards the right side of the track, preparing for the left kink that hits right here. And then there's another one Right here, we're gonna, as we straighten up, we're gonna get in the brakes, down to second gear. I actually broke a little bit too late there, but make sure as you as you straighten up there, you get on the brakes. And here, we're just cutting the corners as much as we can, really, slowing down, getting the brakes before we get to this kink here. Second gear, there's plenty of space here, so you can use all of it if you need to. I actually probably went a little bit tight there, nipping the curb on the inside, and that's a lap at this track. But the car should be plenty fast enough to catch up through the field and get to 
the lead by the end of the race. You just want to make sure you get your lines as good as you can, have a nice smooth drive throughout the race, while also being aggressive and making sure you take advantage of gaps where they come. And for pretty much every event on Gran Turismo or on any event in sim racing in general, the more you practice the track, the easier things are going to get. So if you run a few laps in no time, you'll be up to the front before the end of the race. And when you do get up to the front, you'll probably catch up to a bunch of cars together, which seems to be the top five for me. And once you get behind them, it shouldn't be too long before you reach the front of the pack. I'm on lap three here. I should be able to get to first before the end of this lap. Again, third lap, we're on that back straight. And just look how much extra top speed we have down this back straight. We're gonna probably nick third place here. And then through the final S's, we should be able to steal the, the next two, or maybe even just right here. <laughs> As you can see, you can be really aggressive. There we go. Didn't actually make contact there, I don't think. And we're up to first before the end of the third lap. So I've got a feeling it's gonna be pretty much like this for the rest of this, this championship, I guess you can call it. Um, and um, yeah, you just gotta make it to the end of the race now. There's no fuel saving involved. So get to the end of the race and we'll move on to the next track. Now we move on to the second race, which is at Maggio. It's a shortened layout again. I'm gonna push the traction control up to one, again for that security on throttle. I'll drive a lap or two, put together a bit of a guide for you guys to help you get around this track a little bit quicker. One thing to point out immediately is that you've got quite a long straight here, just make sure you take the advantage and use all the slipstream that you can when you're driving behind other cars. A bit, quite a bit of a straight here to take that advantage on. Okay, so we just kind of run through a bit of a guide around this track now. We're gonna come all the way to the right. We're gonna look out for a curb on the left. Just after that ends, we want to begin braking all the way to the outside of the track here. I've actually gone a little bit too wide there, but then we want to get down on the throttle as soon as possible. I, as you saw, I may have gone a little bit too wide there. I missed the apex, so just brake a little earlier. Don't run as wide. You get the idea. Now down the straight, if there's a car in front of you, take advantage of the slipstream. Now towards the end of the straight here, we're going to be looking towards, there's a bit of a curb that ends and one that starts. We're going to brake right there and then making the apex down the third gear, getting on the throttle at the apex. And now we're going to look as we go over the crest here, there's gonna be a line that goes across the track. We're gonna break just as we get to it, or slightly before it, right here, down to second gear. We're gonna make the apex of this hairpin. And now for the final sector, here we go. We're going through a couple S's here. So we just wanna go use this curb on the left here, but we're gonna bring the car to the left and we can go flat out through this turn. If we use a little bit of the inside here, going to the right, flat out through, I've got a little bit of oversteer and exit, but you can get through there flat. And that was also the final lap of this race. And for the final race of the K-Car Cup Series, we're going to be at Tokyo Expressway, which is another quite open and fast track. So be aware on the straights, pop in behind the other cars to get a bit of slipstream, get more of an advantage down the straights. We should have plenty of power to help us even further on the straights. And then obviously take the advantage through the corners, be aggressive, make dives where you can, and you shouldn't have too much trouble with this race as well. And now we're going to do a bit of a lap guide around this track. It's a bit more drawn out. It is a longer lap, but that's okay. It gives us more time to think. And the corners are generally a bit faster. So firstly, we're going to look for those boards at the top there. We're going to be braking just after the 100 board down to third gear. And we should be able to pick up the throttle around the apex. And now these turns, you may have to lift depending on how you enter the turn, but I believe you can possibly take them flat just like that. And yeah, you just have to get the line, li line right. If you haven't, you might have to do a wee bit of a lift to get around the corner safely. And then if you've carried a good speed through here, you should be braking just before the 100 board down here. However, if you've gone a bit slower out of those turns, you want to be braking around about under the 100 board here. I've carried good speed, so I'm going to have to brake before the 100 board. And even that, yeah, it's just about right, actually. So if you've carried good speed, make sure you're braking before the 100 board. And now we've got a really long straight to deal with. Honestly, it's very straightforward, so we might just skip to the end of it. Just keep your line as smooth as possible to carry as much speed as you can through these bends up ahead. Now coming up to here, we're going to look for this wall that starts on the left here. We're going to break a pole before that wall starts down to third gear. We should make it to the apex. Actually, you might want to break just a tiny bit earlier than that pole that I pointed out. And now down here, we're gonna break. We don't wanna break too hard. We can actually carry a bit of speed down here. So we're just gonna breathe on the brake a little bit. We're gonna use a bit of the brake and then toss it over those curbs and then carry our speed out through the, to the final turn. We can go flat through here quite easily. And that should be a lap of this track complete. Not too difficult. Again, just remember to stick on those cars slipstream to gain a little bit more speed down the straights and you should have the lead by now. And then once you do complete this, this is your new car. 
So thanks guys for watching. If you want to see me do the next two menu books as well, then let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you guys have any tips for these events as well, make, be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll see you very soon.